Hi there, welcome to the third part of this tutorial. I am Abhishek Inamdar. In this tutorial, uh, we are doing a wardrobe and uh, past two parts we have done this model uh, of wardrobe. If you have missed my those parts, please do and see that do those parts. So it will for better understanding for you. So I will switch it to front and uh, now I select the left door yeah, the left door and we want this uh, pivot point to be adjusted over here so how to do that it's very simple go to hierarchy affect pivot point what it does it it changes the center point of the object so if you move it over here and click it again and if you see press rotate on your keyboard that is E and the door will be open like this so I'll show you on perspective this will be something like this so if you if you want to change the pivot point of the object keep in mind affect pivot point and you can change wherever you want like this and the door will be open like this so by the time we want like this and uh, I'll switch it again to front view port and this is fine and again I want to show you some technique in this if you want to snap really precise over here what I'll recommend is go to 2.5 snap and say snap just off the snap and slide over here and this is perfect there is no matter if you keep over here and over here so as well we want that pivot point should be on the perfect left hand side so now door will be open like this same thing we will do over here I'll say affect pivot point that's good it's already yes now I'll make uh, handles of the cupboards I'll just take a box oh that's a lot of segment say some 10 10 10 because we want to use lot of modifier over here just modify say taper say amount say limit that will be a limited scope to open up and I'll say it's a little bit of curve again I'll place one more taper curve will pull down increase the height a little bit yes so slightly we have got the curve just please now in this case the handle is very large so what I'll do is I'll go and scale this one because I don't want to go again and uh, 
play with the modifiers so what i'll do is i'll just scale it the same thing i will scale this one i'll make a copy so here what i'll do is i'll fix a mirror on this side so what how we can do that um i'll go to front again i'll take a box and i want perfectly uh, on this surface if if i'll draw like this the box will be some around back side i don't want that I'll just come down with the segments so what i will do it like this and go to say auto grid it will make on the top of this box something like this so I'll press escape and i'll show it over here from this oh till here short mirror just off the auto grid we'll go to modify so it will be some around 2 mm I'll go to top and just make this a line proper inside the wooden so in texturing part we can do that and uh, but in case uh, if i'll select and i will just open it so the thing is this all will be here left so what will do it either you can link it this object this two object will link to the parent object but in second assignment i will not recommend so much of uh, uh, you know tools to use but the same and very simple thing what we can do it again selecting all this uh, object and see if you rotate and the pivot point is gone so what i'll do is i'll go to group and say right door r i g h t right door I'll go to front don't want crit i'll go to hierarchy effect pure point it doesn't take more time something like this is fine and is done so this was the tutorial for as a second assignment you can make this very good what happened to this fine no problem we have the opportunity to do it again i am selecting this one and this one and say group say left to left door and go to hierarchy effect pivot point and i'll just move this pivot point to this corner and is done so this is also done so this is what the assignment was as a second assignment and i am really not uh, showing the texturing part so sorry and we have to make a support down and this one now i'll go to spline like this slightly up yeah go to vertex we want two vertex over here and say refine 
straight like this, like this. Selecting this one, this one I'll say fillet. Selecting this corner slightly will give the fillet. Slightly, it's fine go to extrude in case yeah it's perfect slightly inside it say extrude say 10 support will be here I'll just go to material, simple material. I don't want any V-ray and mental ray. Go to setting first. I'll switch my V-ray to default scanline render. Sign renderer. Say default scanline. I'll take material or texture of the wooden texture. I'll go to maps, bitmap. So this is what the walnut, dark walnut I have selected and this texture is uh, on our tutorial folder. If you want to check, you can check it. Select and say open because this is in group. Same texture will be applied to the handle. We don't want that. So assign, show, it's fine. Select, sign. Again, if you assign like this, everything will be selected. So we don't want that. Say open. Say assign. The rest everything should be in wooden. Yes. So now for mirror, I'll go to standard. I'll say maps. I'll go to reflection and I'll go to ray trace. If you want to make a mirror, go to reflection and say ray trace. Ray trace. So if you click on background, so the whole globe is shining and we'll assign same thing. Say mirror up mirror so the handles will be of SS so the same material I will be duplicating but there will be no reflection like a mirror it will be some around 80 percent say handles so this was uh, the tutorial for our second assignment and so if you liked my lecture do subscribe my channel that is keyframes online and uh, thanks for watching my tutorial and of course always enjoy learning